Hey everyone, welcome to the WordPress workspace. In today's tutorial guide, I am going to walk you through creating a booking app on your WordPress website. So two clients asked me last week, how do we create um, a page on our website whereby someone can book an appointment or book a class and pay for it online and so that it takes all the admin out of my work. So I'm going to show you how to do exactly that and what it's going to look like is something a bit like this at the bottom. So you will choose your appointment. You'll then, once you've chosen your appointment, you can carry on and you will put in your information, confirm and make payment and you're done. And it will add it straight to your Google Calendar. So we're going to use an online program called Acuity Scheduling. So I'll walk you through the steps. You're going to sign up for a new account by clicking the Sign Up Now button here. Once you're on this page, you're going to pop in your email address and give yourself a quick and simple password so that you can remember it. Okay, once you've done so, you're going to pop in the name of your business and your name. So let's not do that. And my name is Nicola. Okay. And if you do have other people, you can pop them in as well. So the best thing I say is go through the walkthrough. Basically, you're going to first set up your calendar availability. So first we're working on your calendar and um, making sure that that is set up correct. And then we're going to add it to our WordPress website. So we'll walk through this and we can actually change our settings um, over here. So we can change the calendar name any additional emails. So maybe you have an assistant and those emails can go direct to her. You can add in a location if you want, and you can allow a certain number of appointments to be scheduled during the same time slot. Um, and then there's just some other things as well that you can look through. Then you've got some schedule lim lim limits as well, but let's look at the availability and just set that so if we're looking here we can actually block off time so we can say between that time and that time on this day and we'll repeat it on a Thursday and a Friday or until a specific date and then we'll block that time off so you'll basically look at your calendar and see okay on Mondays and Tuesdays I'm not free so I can't take meetings so we'll pop that in Okay, then we'll go to our appointment types and we'll look, okay, we've got a, a consultation, 50 minutes at 45 Rand. We can add a new type of service here and we can name it and then work our way through everything. So the duration of it, how much it's going to cost, if you want a little picture with it, um, you can add, also add in messaging and uh, forms, etc. Um just whatever you need in order to um, show your clients exactly the kind of services that you offer and the appointments that you do offer. If we go back, there's, um, you'll see there's a new type of service and a new type of group class. So if you've got more than one person um, who can book an appointment, you'll create a group class. Okay, there's some add-ons and coupons as well at the top, which you can link into. I think you may need to upgrade to the pro plan. Okay, um, the next thing you'll do is then customize your client scheduling page. You can either click up here at the top or come down to client scheduling page and go to the customize appearance. So when I click on this on the right hand side here, you'll actually see my what my calendar is going to look like. If I want to see it um, in a bigger view, I can click view live. And that's exactly what it's going to look like. So just going back, if I try to amend any of these things, they're not going to change because um, I do need to upgrade my plan to um, a pro plan in order to make 
amends here with the button colors etc if i change it it won't change on this side at all okay so i'm just clicking save it will stick with should just stick with that color maybe it doesn't well you can try okay so once you're happy with your calendar and it's sorted out you might want to go into back to your business settings and look at your payment settings that's the other option we need to look at and change your currency so i'm going to just change mine to dollars accept payments from clients using paypal and then i will pop in my paypal email here you can also use stripe square uh, stripe and paypal braintree author and authorize.net so once you've set that up you can just click save settings so i'm going to pop in my um paypal email address click save settings and once we're done that's basically my calendar my appointments my payment setup and then we're going to head to our client scheduling page and we're going to the scheduling page link okay so what i've already done in wordpress so i've opened it and i have created a new page and i'm going to call it book and appointment okay i'm going to head to the text editor here i'm going to go back to my scheduling app and i'm going to click on embed scheduler I'm going to copy this content here copy it there paste it into my text and I'm going to click publish okay once it's published let's have a look at that and see what it looks like there we go so basically we've got schedule appointment there's 50 minutes at $45 we can click on a time and say yes please I'd like that one and we can click pay now and it will redirect us straight to PayPal or whatever pay payment option you have decided to use you can click payment the email will then come directly to you and it will go directly to your client your client can also look at that email and delete it should they need be okay so that's a simple and basic easy way for you to set up a scheduling or book an appointment kind of app on your wordpress website and I hope you like this tutorial. If you want more like this, be sure to head on over to the wpworkspace.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.